Hello there, I am Sibran and I will show you the Blender Cloud Texture Library add-on that we created here at the Blender Institute. So to download the add-on you go to cloud.blender.org which you see here on my screen and click the services link. There you see all the services that the Blender Cloud offers you which are private projects and the texture browser add-on. So you click download and then you see that we have two add-ons. One is the Blender ID add-on which you need to log in and then there's the Blender Cloud add-on you need to get your textures. So we can extract those two and then install them into Blender. So here's Blender with a little scene I prepared earlier. We go to user preferences. Make sure that you enable the testing filter because the cloud add-on is still in a testing phase. So here we are in the directory where I extracted the zip file we downloaded. First we install the Blender ID add-on. You enable it and then you can log in with your email address and your password. And there you go. Now we can install the Blender Cloud add-on. You install it, you enable it, and then you're done. So, here we have the scene. You go to UV editing to the uh, image editing screen. Hit Control Shift Alt A. I use all the modifiers so that you don't have to remember which one. And then you get the Blender texture library. So let's go download a brick wall. As you can see here, we have the diffuse image or the, or the color map, but this also downloads the other one, the bump map. Here you have the image, and here you have the bump. So just by clicking on it, Blender downloaded it into a texture subfolder of the folder that contains the current blend file. If we go to compositing, then we can see the cube, we can use the color map, and we can use the bump map. And there you have it. That's how you use the Blender Cloud Texture Library add-on. Bye.